Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. So I am back in the Sims 3 and today I am building a houseboat, which is something that I haven't done for like two years or something, because I haven't built a houseboat since Island Paradise came out back in the summer of 2013. So I thought I'd give it another go. And also, again, um, this is a concurring theme with my Sims 3 builds, I tend to be building stuff that you can't build in The Sims 4, so, you know, a houseboat is something that you can't do in The Sims 4, so I thought I would do it. So, this houseboat ends up having two bedrooms and two full bathrooms, which, like, when I say a full bathroom, I mean it's like a real bathroom with a tub, shower, and toilet, and not one of those little all-in-one bathrooms. So it's pretty nice, you know, you got plenty of, not plenty of space, but a decent amount of space. It's three floors, so there's a first floor, a second floor, and then a basement level, which you'll see later. I think that's the last thing I do. Now, the one annoying thing with this houseboat is I build all of this, which you can see I've done so far, and then when I go to put in the stairs, which I think I'm going to do in a moment, it doesn't want to put the stairs in. Yeah, here we go. There's the spiral stairs that it said the ceiling was too low to put in, even though it was a normal height ceiling. I think it's something to do with constrained floor elevation because I put kind of like this freeze level there in between the second and third, second, I mean the first and second floors. Um, but it just wouldn't place the, the spiral stairs, which was so annoying. So you can see here, I, I made like another level on the roof and you see the spiral stairs work fine there, but they just don't work inside the house. And um, there's where I put the basement in and you can see the spiral stairs work fine in the basement too. So what I ended up having to do was demolish everything except for the first floor. And you'll see I tried to put them in without demolishing everything, but it just doesn't work. So I end up demolishing everything and rebuilding it all, which was a little annoying, but then it all worked out fine. So yeah, as you can see here, I just ended up getting rid of everything. Like it wouldn't even put, let me have like a little roof thing floating up there. It just like wouldn't work unless absolutely everything was gone. I don't know why. It's just The Sims 3 being The Sims 3, I guess. So finally I get the spiral stairs in and I can begin recreating the second floor. So it's a pretty modern houseboat, uh, plenty of large windows, it has a very um, modern color scheme, white, and I also use this kind of worn looking wood on the outside that kind of looks like it was like reclaimed or something, which I thought looked really cool. So it's definitely a modern look, and you can see here I'm finally putting everything back, there's the roof, and yeah, so the floor plan ends up being the um, pretty simple. I mean, the basement has the most rooms, so the basement ends up having a bedroom, a bathroom, and like a little study area, which you'll see again at the end of the video. And the first floor just has the, well, it has the kitchen, living room, dining room, and a bathroom. The second floor just has the master bedroom. That's pretty much it. So yeah, anyway, I'm adding in a little balcony there, and there's a little split leveling going on on the second floor here, which you can see I kind of have half of the landing a little bit lower than the other half, so it's kind of interesting. You know, add a little bit of interest to it. And as you can see, it's adding a little bit of um, indents there for balconies and stuff. I wanted to put another spiral staircase there coming up from the basement, but I couldn't do it. And I, if I removed the staircase I put in on the first floor, I'd have to demolish everything again. So I ended up settling with a ladder to go to the basement. So probably a little inconvenient having to climb up and down a ladder every single time you want to go downstairs, but it was the best way to do it. I also discovered with move objects, you can actually place windows in the basement of a houseboat, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but it looks really cool, and you'll see in the end I put giant windows down there, which in real life would probably not be a good idea. You probably don't want huge windows in like the hull of your boat, but um, it looks really cool, so you'll see I'll do that. Um, right now I'm putting the colors on, so you can see we have the white um, base color, and I end up putting on some wood, but what's really nice is these large windows from Into the Future, which have the tint on them. So I was able to like, put a white tint on them so it kind of looks like the windows are part of the wall. I don't know, it just made the windows look so subtle. It was really cool. I don't know, I really like the look of that. And also some smaller windows for the bedrooms and bathrooms. Here's where I pick out the wood color that I use as an accent. Well, it's actually more of an accent, um, more than an accent. It's kind of like half of it is wood and half of it is white. So it's kind of this really worn looking wood that looks like it was kind of reclaimed or something and that it's not like brand new. It looks really cool. So you can see here, I'm kind of mitch matching it. So like the front has the wood on the in indented parts and white on the outside and the back has the wood on the outside and the white on the indented parts. So it looks kind of cool. I think it looks nice. And here I'm putting on some railings. So it's kind of part half wall, part railing. 
uh, so it looks uh, a bit more interesting. And on the top there, you kind of have that fin going across the top, which I thought was pretty neat. It kind of looks like a bit like a shark, though it's not pointy. I don't know, I thought it was cool. And here I'm putting on, uh, putting in some indents for some skylights to go on the second floor. So the master bedroom and the landing have little skylight strips in them, which I thought looked really cool. So you can see I'm doing that right now. And it looks really nice from inside, which you'll see in these screenshots at the end. Um, so now I'm putting on some tile. So, you know, it's instead of that hideous yellow wood that's normally there, and it looks pretty nice. It's pretty much the same color as that gray part over the top of the houseboat. So, you know, it's a nice simple color. Here I'm just changing the color of the railing edges and adding some more railings in so you don't just fall off the edge. And yeah, so right now I'm putting in some porch doors so you can actually get out to those little um, balcony things. I don't know if those doors are usable or not because it's such a small little area and I had to use move objects to put them in, but it adds a nice little touch to the house anyway, even if they're not usable. Uh, there's the front door and I'm also adding a little window there to go opposite of it and so yeah there's doors out to all the balconies front and back obviously and despite the size of the houseboat from outside it's actually really small inside because there's a lot of outdoor space which is really nice but the inside suffers a bit and as you can see here I'm putting these giant windows in the basement area so again that would not be realistic at all but it looked really cool because like if you're in that bedroom down there it's like you have these walls of glass that just look out to water I don't know, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, I put on some of that wood from outside as an interior, uh, what's it, accent wall? That's the word. And otherwise, the interior is basically just the white walls. I also put some tile on the walls too, which added a little bit of detail. Now with these doors, an interesting thing, interesting thing I did with the doors was kind of put the wood pattern over them. So they kind of look hidden, but I put the white trim there so you can see there's a door there. I don't know, I thought it was interesting. Uh, this area here is going to be the living room, which is pretty small. As you can see, the spiral staircase takes up quite a bit of it. But you have this nice flat screen television, and I love that bookshelf there over the window because there's no back to it, so it's kind of like you can kind of see through that glass bookshelf to the ocean. This looks really cool. Anyway, uh, putting in a bunch of details there, you got the coffee table, a nice rug. Um, not in that hideous striped color, but in a blue color, which you'll find in a moment. There it is and it looks pretty nice and I also changed the color of the furniture as well uh, so I make the chair a nice lighter color it's a very nice living room um, small but it's a houseboat so it's not going to be huge uh, but nice and modern and somewhat cozy also got a nice stereo there under the TV so you can listen to music and a little flower there pretty simple getting in some lighting on the walls and um, yeah so I think we're going to be moving on to the kitchen soon but I'm not sure oh we have the little entrance area of course forgot about that so the little entrance area, which I put a mirror on the uh, like a floor standing. Oh, I put it. Well, I put it firstly. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I put some shoes, and then I put a mirror in in a moment. I don't know. I'm like, there it is. You know, I was just thinking. Of, all I could think about was the mirror. But now we have the mirror and a little side table. So you know, you can put your knickknacks there if you want to. Um, I ended up putting a flower pot on there. So a little fl a vase of flowers rather. And also the house kept getting all messed up, so I eventually turned off constraint floor elevation, but it takes me a while to do that. And here we're putting in the kitchen, which is very small, um, like the living room, but it's nice, nice and modern. So you got your oven range and your refrigerator there. There's no dishwasher, there wasn't really any room. And you know, but pretty simple. You got these nice black and white color scheme going on, uh, nice black appliances and cabinets with the marble countertops. And I'm putting in a coffee maker here, and you know, all of it's pretty simple, got a nice tile wall, so it looks like the tiles on the floor just kind of like wrap up onto the wall, which I thought looked pretty cool. And I'm putting in some details, I get like some paper towels, some flowers, other things like that, and also this towel hanging on a wall. Um, pretty big for a kitchen towel, but I guess if you want to wipe things down or wipe off your hands or something, it's there. Or clean, wipe clean dishes or something to dry them off. I don't know. Anyway, I was going to put in a four-seater table in the dining area, but it was just too big, and I was concerned that they wouldn't be able to get around, so uh, there's only two seats in the dining room despite this house's ability to sleep four, um, so you could technically have four sims live here, but only two could eat at the dining table, so a bit unfortunate, but the way it is, it's just the way it is. Uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could put a dining table outside, and your sims could eat out there, but I didn't do that, but you know, there's more oper uh, more options, so it's not, not a huge deal. Um, here's a little side table there in that hallway, 
and now I'm just putting in some lighting so it's not going to be really dark at night. And here is the um, main floor bathroom which is technically also the master bathroom since there's no bathroom on the th third third floor, or not second floor really. The th there really is no third floor but anyway, yeah, since there's no bathroom on the second floor um, that bathroom would be probably used by the people who sleep in the master bedroom so you know, it's pretty nice. It's got a tub shower combination and a sink and toilet. It's pretty much the same as the bathroom that's right below it on this, in the basement. So, you know, pretty simple. Got the nice tile walls and floors. Getting a mirror here. And I was going to put a roll of toilet paper in, but it didn't really fit. So, gave up on that. And also putting in some towels. And, you know, pretty simple bathroom. And, yeah, you know, not too much to it but it gets the job done. Also putting that nice fossil thing on the wall, which I tend to use a lot in my Sims 3 houses. So now we're gonna be moving on to the second floor where we have the landing area and the master bedroom. So really nice master bedroom. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house and you'll see it when we get to it. But for now this landing, pretty simple. It's got the split level to it as you can see. And you know, it's not too big. The spiral staircase takes up a lot of it. Um, but the spiral staircase is still better than a normal staircase because that would take up way too much space. So as you can see here, I got a little art easel in so your sims could paint there. There's a guitar if they want to play guitar, a little chair. You know, so it's usable space. It's not just like random empty space. You have, you have stuff there your sims can do. I also put a mirror in. And yeah, otherwise not too much to the entrance or not entrance, the landing. Also the landing and the master bedroom, like I said before, have the glass ceiling tiles. So that looks really cool. And outside here, I'm putting a little area over the uh, ship's uh, wheel, um, the helm, I guess you could call it. So it's not going to protect you from rain or anything, but it just looks kind of cool. And right here, I'm just moving the mailbox around. And now we're going to head on to the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has that balcony out the front. As you can see, there's two doors on either side. And also that huge wall of windows. So really beautiful view. I also put some blinds on the windows too. So if you want to have a bit of privacy or be able to sleep um, when it's the daylight outside, you can do that. And um, yeah, so nice bed there. Also got a wood flooring in. Um, really interesting bed spread. As you can see, it's kind of got this geometric pattern to it. And also a dresser and mirror uh, as well. And I also put a flat screen television in here. So if your sims want to watch TV in bed, they can do that because I'm pretty sure The Sims and The Sims 3 can watch TV in bed while in The Sims 4 they can't. So your Sims can do that here. And there's also a bookshelf there underneath the TV. And I do a layered rug, which is kind of interesting. So you have a white rug there, which you can see right now. And then I put a black one, on, a black one underneath. Wow. I always speak way too fast and jumble my words. So sorry about that. Anyway, there's the rugs. They look good. And now I'm going to move on to the basement level. So down here in the basement, we have a office area, which is really nice to have. Uh, so you'll see I put in some bookshelves, a little sitting area. Here's the desk I'm putting in right now. Now one thing about the basement is, you know, I always put screenshots at the end of my videos. Um, the basement screenshot is just kind of like a floor plan screenshot because uh, one thing I discovered is you can't like go into free camera mode in basements. Like you can, but you can't actually go into the room for some reason. Uh, not, I mean basements on houseboats, not basements in general. I don't know why, it's just weird, so houseboats are a bit finicky that way, but anyway, you can see it now as I'm doing it. Um, again with that layered rug thing like I did in the master bedroom, and you know, you have a little sitting area. Um, there's also some things your sims can do, like there's a pull-up bar there and some darts, so if they want to have a bit of fun or do a bit of exercising, they can do that. I mean, of course they can swim too, that's exercise, and there's an ocean all around this house. So right here is the guest bathroom, which is downstairs. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the bathroom upstairs, but it's pretty much the same stuff in it. Now, the um, this bedroom here is going to be like a kid's room. So like I said, you could sleep um, eight, no, not eight, four sims in this house. So, you know, because there's two beds down here and there's a double bed upstairs, but you know, it, it, the dining area situation could be fixed. Anyway, so as you can see here, pretty large room, got the wood floors and you have those glass walls. Now, I, I would not feel safe in this room personally because I'd be a bit creeped out and like with glass walls in the whole of the ship, just, oh, just don't even want to think about if they break. <laughs> but anyway, pretty nice little kids room down here. You got like some little beanbag chairs. It's also an aquarium under one of the beds, which I thought was interesting. And you know, Overall, it's a pretty nice, um, simple kids' room. There's some posters on the walls and also some blinds over those windows. 
and yeah. Also, a little change in the color of the ladder and the staircase, so they kind of fit in a bit better. And I think that's the interior finished. So now we're just going to do some exterior details. Like, I love to paint in the freeze areas that I make with CFE black because it's just more visually pleasing to me. I also put this giant palm tree in that's like a plant that this kind of looks cool, I don't know. And also there's plenty of lounge chairs on this houseboat, you know, so you can just lounge around and look out at the water. I also put a one of those little, um, oh, I can't, why, the name of it is just blank my mind, but that aquatic activity um, that you do with that board is now on the wall. It's like a, it's not like a water ski, or water, not, water ski? No, you don't have to water skiing, that requires skis. I don't know, it's, it's there. Also some outdoor lighting and a little lifesaver on the wall there, which is pretty nice. Also changing the color of the hull of the boat to gray, because I didn't like the blue very much. And anyway, we're pretty much finished here. If you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you check out my channel. I have plenty more house builds um, on my channel and some more coming up in the future. And if you enjoy what, uh, if you enjoy this video and you like what you see on my channel, please consider subscribing. Anyway, we're almost done here, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, have a great day.